Welcome to Cenogenics Live. Tis the season for stress. On the line, we have Dr. Mickey Barber, Age Management Specialist and CEO, CMO of Cenogenics Carolinas, as well as Tiffany Jackson, Cenogenics Carolinas Nutrition Specialist. Please stay tuned to ask your questions of Dr. Mickey Barber and Tiffany Jackson after their presentation. Welcome to the holiday season. It's that whirlwind of holiday parties and activities galore that seems to start right after we put the trick-or-treat candy away and just continues to gain momentum until the end of the year. You know, that season is supposed to bring us feelings of love and cheer, but for many, like myself, I'm sure some of you feel like it's an omen for holiday stress. I was doing some research on this and was interested to see that stress costs the American industry more than $300 billion annually, and that OSHA, the Occupational Safety and Health Administration, has declared stress a hazard of the workplace, which is really wild. Stress can play a part in many health conditions like headaches, hypertension, heart problems, some kinds of cancer, diabetes, skin conditions, depression, and anxiety. It's been said that between 75 and 90% of all doctor visits are stress-related ailments and complaints. The great thing about holiday stress is that we know that it is predictable and it is self-limited. Unlike many other kinds of stress that we can have in our life, we know that there's a beginning and an end. And so we can make some plans to help reduce the amount of stress we experience and make it have less of an impact on ourselves. So tonight we're really lucky to have Tiffany Jackson, who is Cenogenics Carolina's nutrition specialist and is also a yoga instructor. So Tiffany is going to cover some tips that we can try to help us reduce the holiday stress before it really becomes a major event and really has an impact on our overall health and our ability to enjoy the season. So hi to Tiffany and welcome. We're glad you're here tonight. Oh, thank you. I'm glad to be here. Well, I'm just going to turn it over to you for a while and and start to discuss how we can manage that stress that we know is part of the holidays. I know. It can get so crazy, all the multiple trips to the mall and marathon of parties, all the intense pressure to find that perfect gift. And, you know, nothing can guarantee that perfect holiday, uh, but we can always do things just to make the holiday season a bit less stressful. So uh, we will talk about that. that. I'm glad to hear there's some way to manage it. I, I, I've been running around myself. So what do you think is the most, one of the most effective ways that we can manage the holiday stress that we might be experiencing? Well, in order to deal with stress effectively, it's critical to concentrate really on supporting the adrenals over the holiday season. So a lot of patients, when they come to us, they don't really understand what the adrenals are. So first we've got to understand that they are these two little glands that are located on the top of each of our kidneys where they manufacture some of our really important stress hormones. And those stress hormones being adrenaline, um, epinephrine, norepinephrine, or some other terms for that. And then it also produces what's called cortisol, DHEA, and then our sex hormones like estrogen, progesterone, and testosterone. So the reason we have adrenals is to respond to stress. Um, and a lot of times people refer to that as the flight and the the fight and the flight mode. So I always explain it to patients as if, you know, you have uh, a police officer turn the lights on behind you while you're driving at night. You know, the heart starts to begin to palpitate. You get that rush of your blood pressure, release of energy stores, and, you know, you're ready to go and you're, you're, you're being really sharp. Um, but also there's other kind of stresses like psychological stress, um, emotional stress, environmental stress, infectious stress, if you have bacterial or um, fungal infections, things like that, they can also put chronic stress on our adrenals. So when our adrenals begin to get overextended and overworked, we begin to feel imbalanced. We begin to have insomnia, fatigue, weight gain, all sorts of side effects. So one of the things that we want to do over the holiday season is to really make sure that our um, adrenals are supported Um, and that we don't have high cortisol levels because under chronic stress with these high cortisol levels, uh, the body tends to just get out of balance. Mm -hmm. So cortisol and DHEA are both made by the adrenal gland. So what happens if you're running around with a a really high cortisol? What happens with DHEA and, and everything else then? 
Yeah, so usually DHE levels tend to plummet, and they can get really low under long periods of stress. And when we have low, reduced DHEA, along with some elevated cortisol, you know, the results can actually be devastating. The immune system begins to weaken. You get more infections. You're more susceptible to allergies, autoimmune disease. Um, your glucose, which sugar uh, regulation with insulin when you're eating meals can kind of get out of whack where your blood sugar becomes higher. Um, your salt and water uh, function begins to get altered. Uh, and you can have tendency to have higher blood pressure and also your cho uh, cholesterol and triglycerides can increase. That can predispose you to some heart disease. The thyroid can become impaired. Uh, really chronic long-term stress can really be devastating if you don't keep an eye on those levels. So, and, the, and then one big thing that we see a lot is that people, um, you know, have the body storage fat, especially around the midsection, um, becomes a little bit more prominent when, when we have uh, some, some de decreased levels. Wow. So really, you're, I kind of think about it as, you know, your adrenals can't keep up with making all the other hormones if they're so busy making the cortisol because that's really your fight or flight, you know, support. That cortisol is happening really kind of as a protective mechanism. Isn't that true? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, and so then the other hormones that, you know, at that point in time don't see that important, their production goes down. So I'm glad you stressed, no pun intended, the importance of understanding the adrenals because adrenals, we see that all the time in our patients who are just living in, you know, a really busy, fast-paced, overstimulated world. And then if you add the holidays on top of that, you know, that sounds like that can get really crazy. So what can we do to support our adrenals so that we don't get in that situation where I think of it as kind of where they've been squeezed dry or where they've been burned out? How can we prevent that from happening, or can we? Yeah, I kind of picture them as as all shriveled up like little raisins sitting on top of our kidneys. <laughs> uh, we can, uh, you know, there's a lot of things that you can do, and I really like to approach it with using supplements um, and specific nutrients just to help support the adrenals, especially during the holiday season. So one big thing that you can do is up your DHEA levels. Um, that's just such an important hormone that's going to help um, – you know, w help your body from the bad side effects from cortisol, and it also can uh, help just balance everything out. And vitamin C is a big uh, vitamin that nourishes the adrenal glands. It um, increases during time it, uh, when you're really stressed out. If you test the urinary secretion of vitamin C, you see that that goes way, way up during times really? of stress. So making okay. sure, oh, yes, huh? making sure that you got extra vitamin C, um, and that you can do that nutritionally just through foods. Excellent sources of vitamin C are broccoli and bell peppers, strawberries, oranges. Drinking some extra lemon juice and some water every morning can give you a little extra vitamin C uh, during those stressful times. And then just having um, cauliflower, kale, mustard greens, a lot of your green vegetables, the Brussels sprouts, they're really high. Um, panathenic acid also is a big B vitamin, B5, that is equally important for high stress times and for people that need adrenal support. So you want to um, definitely supplement with that. Uh, you can do that in form of a nutritional supplement or you can eat foods that are found um, or whole grains and different legumes. Cauliflower is a big one, broccoli, and then also salmon tends to be really high in B5 along with some sweet potatoes and, and tomatoes. So it's also one thing with the B5 is people that have really chronic stress that have had a history of using corticosteroids, I also get them to to make sure they get a lot of B5. Um, and then B6 is a big one. Zinc is another big one. And magnesium that really support the adrenals. So a lot of times you can find different blends where you can find some DHEA along with vitamin C and the B5, B6, um, zinc, and magnesium. So those are the big ones. Uh, that I wanted to just stress for supporting uh, the adrenal function because if we don't support our adrenals, then that's just going to weaken our immune system and weaken our body, and that's the last thing you want over the holidays is to get uh, to get sick and to feel more fatigued and tired. So, 
Yeah, I mean, isn't that one reason I know a lot of people feel like they they do okay w- during the period of stress, and then right after that they they get sick. You know, it's like your body just you know you you finally run out of steam. Your adrenals just finally kind of poop out. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> you know, and I tell people if they're on DHEA, now's a good time to maybe take a little extra or if they're even on, say, progesterone, which is another hormone that gets chewed up in periods of stress, that you may need to, to up your progesterone when things are kind of crazy and seem more stressful than usual. So, yeah, and, and boy, there's, you know, the vitamin C and all, I mean, if you just kind of add maybe a, a supplement and eat more of those foods that have a lot in it, that would be helpful right there. Now, I know you're a, a yoga instructor, and you must have some techniques that we can use maybe even tonight <laughs> to help us uh, calm down our mind a little bit and promote positive mental attitude. I'm sure there are people on the phone that are thinking about all their Christmas list and things that they need to be doing, and if granted a little time here to to think about their stress level and what they can do about it. Yeah, well, it's amazing how a lot of us just are such shallow breathers. Um, So one thing that you can do to really decrease stress, and I teach patients, just you can do this at a stoplight while you're driving, is just take more time to take deeper breaths. So producing deep relaxation with a technique uh, is you you need to learn how to breathe. And one of the most powerful ways to decrease stress um, is breathing deeply with the diaphragm. So uh, when you use the diaphragm, it actually can change your physiology when you use it to breathe, taking really deep breaths. So we'll just take a minute here, and I'm going to let you guys practice this while I um, teach you how to breathe really deep with your diaphragm. So just make sure you know you're sitting in a comfortable position, and then just put one hand on your abdomen right near your navel, And then now if you're on speakerphone, you can put another hand on your chest. But right now, the most importantly, we're just going to feel the belly rise up and down. I really want you to just concentrate on your breathing for a second and just kind of relax your face, relax your shoulders, send a wave of relaxation through your body, and then just concentrate on taking a nice deep inhale and feeling the belly rise. And if you can do it for a count of four or five, you really want to draw out the breath so you get a really nice, deep, deep, deep breath. You're filling up most of the air deep, deep down into the lungs. And then you exhale to the count of four. So you're taking a nice deep inhale going one, two, three, four, and just take a nice little pause and then exhale it out nice and smooth. And getting the inhale and exhale to be even can help. And I get people to repeat that um, over and over, probably, you know, if you can do it six, eight, ten times just to take some nice deep breaths, it can actually shift your whole physiology and just um, shift those relaxation centers into the brain where you can literally feel like lighter, like you don't have as much stress um, Mm -hmm. on your Mm -hmm. shoulders. Mm -hmm. And there's also another technique that I like to teach people um, for producing a relaxation response. It's called progressive relaxation Because believe it or not, some people are unaware what the sensation of relaxation actually feels like. Mm -hmm. Um, So it's a technique that is actually really popular with people that have anxiety and they have insomnia. So people, if they begin to feel an anxiety attack come on, they can do this technique. Or if they're laying in bed and they can't sleep, they can do this, um, this exercise. But basically what you're doing is you're forcefully contracting a muscle for one or two seconds, and then you let go and you give way into that feeling of relaxation. So since it goes progressively through the muscles, um, this deep state of relaxation will result. So if you want to just do it real quick, it really only takes a minute or two. I like to begin um, with the face and the neck. It's a place that we hold a lot of tension. People really might put a lot of uh, stress and tension in their jaw, and they tense their neck up, and they don't even realize it. So just making that conscious effort of releasing all of those muscles in your cheeks and release the muscles in your jaw, around your neck, let those shoulders fall down and away from the ears, and so make sure they're relaxed. And now I want you to clench them up. So clench your shoulders up to your ears and just squeeze your jaw and hold the tension, scrunch your face up and hold it for three, two, one, and then just relax. Then you relax all of those muscles. 
And then you're going to do the same thing for the chest and the arms. You're going to squeeze your fingers. You're going to squeeze your shoulders and elbows, and you're going to squeeze your chest, and you're going to hold that tension for three, two, and you're going to squeeze it like you're going to pop, and then you're going to relax. You relax all of those muscles, and then you're going to do the same thing with your legs and your and your butt. You're going to squeeze everything in your legs and your knees and curl your toes and squeeze everything really, really, really tight, and then you completely relax and feel that wave of relaxation move all the way down through your body, and then you start over again. You do it again in your face, and you can actually do one arm at a time or you can do one leg at a time, um, and you just slowly begin to repeat that over and over. But it's amazing how it just can also trigger that brain response um, to help feel more relaxed on a muscle level. Everything tends to just balance out, and it can it can be very relaxing and peaceful. I do it quite often if I'm just laying in bed and I feel like, I can't get to sleep. You just it, it helps put your body in that state of balance and ease. Mm-hmm. Well, that sounds really good. It gets you more aware of what what your body in general, I guess. You, you pay attention to contract and relax, contract and relax. That's great. Well, what are yeah. some other lifestyle factors that we could focus on to decrease stress? What other things? Can you think of? Well, of course, exercise is a big one. I recommend everybody, you know, try to get as much exercise as you can, even though um, our lives can, or during the holidays, we can get busier. Try to stay in your routine. Um, And then time management is really what it boils down to. Uh, You really need to set priorities. Of course, you can only accomplish so much in the day. Decide what's most important. You know, limit your efforts to that one goal and try to get that done and be okay with it. Um, And organizing your day, you know, just trying to set some priorities, and then there's always going to be interruptions and unplanned demands of your time. But just create that definite plan by organizing your day, set your priorities, and just, you know, try to get them done. And I always like to teach people delegate, delegate, delegate. You know, you cannot do everything yourself. Learn to train others. Learn just to trust, trust others and delegate as much authority and work as you can. And just don't be a perfectionist. We can never fully achieve perfection. So just do your best in that reasonable amount of time and then move on with other important tasks. You can always come back later and polish them up. So, <laughs> Well, that's the truth. And I, I mean, you know, you can't worry about, you know, whether you have the perfect gift or if your package is wrapped perfectly. In the end, nobody cares and everybody rips the paper off anyway. So it well, I know. It doesn't really matter. Um, I know you want to say a little bit about diet. Do you have a couple of real quick tips for us? Yeah, you know, with diet, it's um, what I really want to stress is some people get caught up with the caffeine. Um, you know, if you do have high stress levels and anxiety, it's most people are really sensitive to caffeine. So, you know, as much as you can uh, limit caffeine, that, that can be really helpful, even though it can be hard during the holidays. And then also restricting the refined carbohydrates. Those tend to be related to causing the sugar problems, which can cause you to feel more anxious and, and stressed. And then, you know, a big one when we're so rushed, um, I feel like everybody needs to be reminded to kind of slow down when they're eating. Spend your time, you know, if you just have to take a quick lunch, try to go sit in a room and just, you know, breathe and eat slowly and be in a relaxed environment because digestion uh, really depends on, you know, every breaking all your food down. You don't want to just scarf down your meals. So even though we're stressed, just take time to relax and, and eat. Well, gosh, that's, that's a lot to, to be thinking about. Any other tips or advice for us? No, it's the holiday season. Just remember, find joy. It's a season in which joy is assumed to be so prevalent, but sometimes it can, you know, be somewhat surprisingly elusive. So just, you know, slow down. Take time to sit back and, you know, find the joy and let joy show itself in your life. Uh, you know, make eye contact with people around you. Smile more. Um, see what brings joy into your life. Sometimes it can just be opening a door for someone or letting someone that looks like they're in a rush, you know, in the line ahead of you and and just laughing and, and enjoying the season. Uh, Laughter is a big one because it can lower your stress hormones. So try to laugh a lot and just uh, appreciate everything that you have in your life and remember to be joyful. Well, that's great advice. And I know they've even shown that laughter – can help to uh, improve your immune function and help your your uh, 
uh, infection fighting cells work better. So, you know, that's a great, great piece of advice there. Well, we really want to open up this um, call for discussion and for your questions or, or, or points you'd like to make and share with others. And that to really fully benefit from the call, it's so much better if you participate. So, our moderator, Carrie, tonight is going to tell you how to um, ask questions of us. And please just take a couple of minutes to stay on and ask some questions. Thank you, Dr. Barber. And Tiffany will now be accepting questions from the audience. So if you do have a question, all you need to do is press the number one one time on your phone, and that will get you into the question queue. And we'll take all those questions in the order that they're received. Once again, pressing the number one one time will get you into the question queue, and we'll take all the questions in the order that they're received. Give just a moment to have that queue lined up. Our first question comes from Clay Smitherman. Your line's open, Clay. Hey, how are you? Hey. Great. Hey, I was just wondering how can you enhance your DHEA levels and reduce your cortisol levels? Tiffany? Yes. Um, did you hear the question? I did. I didn't know if you were going to answer that or no, if you wanted me to answer, answer it. Uh, two, one, let me do my answer, and then I'll let Tiffany do hers. Well, one way to help with your DHEA is to lower your cortisol, so that's one way. And Tiffany has talked about some ways to do that. They've, I've seen it demonstrated where if if you take a patient and have them practice the deep breathing, it will actually lower your heart rate, lower your blood pressure, and lower your cortisol. And when that happens, your adrenal glands are going to pick up where that left off and start to make more DHEA. So that's one of the things. And then, of course, you can take DHEA as a supplement, which many of our patients do, to kind of supply it when your body is not making what it needs to be making. But, um, Tiffany, other comments about the cortisol? Well, um, I think exercise is really another thing to stress. And then also, you know, just the, the supplements that we had talked about, taking the extra uh, B vitamins, the, especially the panathenic acid and the vitamin C, um, and supporting the adrenals on a supplement level is can be effective. Okay, Did thank that, you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Any more questions? Yes, our next question will come from Tina Horn. Your line's open, Tina. Hi, Dr. Barber. How are you? Hey, Tina. (laughs) Um, My question was along with his. uh, Are you saying that we should take an additional supplement of DHEA other than, you know, the one we're already taking? And then you said add progesterone. How much progesterone to decrease stress? Yeah, good question. Um, I tell patients a lot of times during periods where they know it's going to be more stressful. So let's say you're having 20 people at your house for Christmas and, you know, all of that. Uh, I think I am, as a matter of fact. Then I usually recommend people take twice the amount of DHEA and progesterone for four or five days during that period of time, as well as, and this is not really about the adrenals, but to uh, protect yourself from infections is to increase your vitamin D level. Um, and to double your vitamin D. And that will do a couple of things, too. That will help you sleep better, which we really haven't talked about. But if you're suffering from insomnia, your cortisol will go up. Your cortisol goes up, then you suffer from insomnia. So, yeah, Tina, I, I do recommend that you up your dose for, you know, five days, maybe right in the middle of that stressful period. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. And at this time, there are no further questions in the queue. Um, I I wanted to, Tiffany, just share that I I use that breathing technique a lot. In fact, the other day I was out um, trying to get all my shopping done in two days. And I I noticed, I mean, you have to be aware of your body. So if you notice that your heart is, you know, beating a little bit more rapidly or that you're breathing kind of shallowly, um, I'm kind of a tooth grinder. If I notice that I'm doing that, I just stop and either stop my car, pull over in a a safe parking space, or if I'm walking around the mall or whatever, sit down and really practice that deep breathing with my hand on my belly and and expanding it on inhalation and taking nice, slow, deep breaths. And it is just such a calming thing to do. Oh, yeah, it really can be. I mean, when I do it with patients, uh, they can't even believe They're like, oh. 
I just feel so much lighter. I feel like I could float. You know, you just don't can't even imagine what getting more. I mean, if you think about it, you're getting more oxygen into your blood, and more oxygen gets to your brain and to your tissues, and it just mm-hmm. can produce an, a, a tremendous relaxation response. So, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. yeah, and it's yeah. it's very efficient, and I recommend people do it as as much as they can. Yeah, and I've, uh, I'm an anesthesiologist originally, and one of the things that we would do, this sounds kind of crazy, but when we'd be, like, breathing for the patient, you know, in the operating room, and we could watch the heart rate, and when we'd give them a nice deep breath, their heart rate would come nice and slow, and then it would come up if we gave them shallow breaths. So, mm-hmm. you know, we, I've seen that physiology in action, and so we have that tool ourselves that we can use all the time. We do. Any other questions out there? If there are any other questions, all you need to do is press the number one one time on your phone. Well, sounds like not. Listen, we really appreciate all of you taking time out of what is a crazy, busy season. I hope it wasn't too stressful to take this 30 minutes out to join us. Um, I really want to thank Tiffany for taking time out of her life. She's the mother of a new baby, so we know her life's pretty stressful, too. And um, we wish all of you a very Merry Christmas and a happy, prosperous, and healthy new year. For more information or if you have any questions, please feel free to contact Dr. Mickey Barber directly at 843-724-7272. Once again, that number is 843-724-7272 or email her at mbarber at senogenics-carolinas.com. You can register online at www.senogenicscarolinas.com. Once again, her email address is mbarber at senogenics-carolinas.com, or you can register online at www.senogenicscarolinas.com. Senogenics Carolinas is open Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Again, you can reach Dr. Mickey Barber directly at 843-724-7272. Email her at mbarber at senogenics-carolinas.com, or register online at www.senogenicscarolinas.com. We thank you for your participation this evening. You may now disconnect. Great. Thank you. Oh, thank you. I'll see you tomorrow. All right. Bye. All right. Bye-bye.